I think, you know, not only has the whole entire NBA fan base kind of lost faith in Ben Simmons, I also think the whole entire country of Australia has now lost faith in Ben Simmons. He's done one of the most stupid things he could have possibly done, in my opinion, as he is now, it is now being confirmed that Ben Simmons has pretty much turned his back on Australia and will not be playing for Australia in the Olympics. Instead, apparently in his words, he will be focusing on basketball and improving himself while training in Los Angeles. Now, let's be honest here. Where will Ben Simmons actually do that? Or will he go and play Fortnite with his friends at face? Let's be honest here. I don't know if there is much improvement for Ben Simmons, and I don't think he will improve to an, a, a huge amount. The thing is with Ben Simmons right now, his value is at an all-time low. He has shown that he does not want to improve his jump shot. And one of the things that, you know, legendary Australian basketballer who... I believe won a championship for the San Antonio Spurs. I don't think he really got that much minutes, but I'm sure some of you might have heard of him. Andrew Gaze pretty much, I believe, actually said that it would have been good for Ben Simmons to play for Australia because it would have been a change of scenery and atmosphere, and he could have still practiced his jump shot while training with the Australian players. But what's he doing? He's going and training by himself, which has worked so well in the last couple of years. And probably just spending his days playing Fortnite with FaZe. Let's be honest here. Ben Simmons does not want to improve. If he wanted to improve, he would have improved a couple of years ago, last year. Or even this year. He is not though. He still does not want to, you know, shoot. He, his jump shot is still a little bit broke. And he just refuses to shoot no matter what. And turns his back on Australia when he agrees to go and play with them. Like, I'm sure most of you guys, if you guys are, you know, living in the United States, you guys have probably seen the United States basketball team, and a lot of you guys probably haven't been pleased. The USA team is not overall that good. Like, what? It, I mean, it's pretty good. It's probably still best in the world, but it's not as good as it, what, you know, it, it used to be, right? Well, the thing is right now is that Australia had, like, a legitimate chance to maybe potentially upset them like we've i'm sure most of you guys have seen this australia did upset the usa when they had that like little FIBA tournament uh and they, uh, usa came down here to you know came down to australia to play australia managed to upset them and australia didn't even have you know josh giddy josh green matisse steinbull or ben simmons and i know america were you know missing like all of their best players but they're going into this olympics again missing pretty much all of their best players. But now the Australian team has brought in some nice players like Josh Giddy, who will be a top 15 pick in this year's draft. Josh Green, who I believe was, what, pick 18 or something like that? I can't even remember. In the last draft to the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, and of course, they're bringing in Matisse Steinbull, who is an elite defender. I believe made all defensive second team and will be, uh, you know, he is of course playing for the Philadelphia 76ers right now. And they've brought in a couple of other really good players here and there as well. And they could have brought in Ben Simmons, which would have meant that they would have had a huge chance to upset the USA, you know, basketball team. For example, what the Australian team probably would have looked like, you know, would have been starting point guard, uh, Matthew Dallavadova. Uh, shooting guard would have been... Paddy Mills, I'd probably say, and then Joe Ingles at small forward, um, Ben Simmons at power forward, and Aaron Baines at center. Like that's a that's a good team, right? And then when you when you look at this as well, they also another player I forgot to mention as well, Dante Exum, who's a nice player. Uh, I believe he's you know coming back and he'll be I think making like his debut for the Australian Olympics team. Uh, so again, they would have had a lot of inclusions. Matisse Steinbull might even start over Dali now, but just because of chemistry-wise, I don't think that will, you know, necessarily be happening. But again, when we when we look at the United States basketball team right now, they've only got so many players, you know, playing. Like, 
I believe they're the Olympic team. I think that they've got going on right now. I believe it's like Bam Adebayo, who is an incredible talent. He'll probably rip Aaron Baines apart. Let's be honest here. Bradley Beal, Devin Booker, you know Kevin Durant, uh, Drew Holiday, Zach Levine, Damian Lillard, Chris Middleton, Jason Tatum. They're all absolutely phenomenal players. Don't get me wrong. But Australia managed to upset them when they had, you know, Jason Tatum, Chris Middleton. Um, I don't know if Drew Holiday played, you know, uh, they had a couple other players here and there. But they managed to, you know, upset that team. I know, like, Bam Adebayo and Bradley Beal, Devin Booker and Kevin Durant all get added to this team and are incredible talents, which Australia probably wouldn't be able to upset. But if Australia at least had, you know, Ben Simmons, etc., they were in for a tiny chance. Now, I'm not exactly too sure because Ben Simmons is, for some reason, deciding to go and train and do something that he's done the past couple of years that hasn't worked for so long. Um, so, it just, it absolutely blows my mind how they're all going about this. I don't like it at all, and it's really, really hurting my head. Um, you know, how Ben Simmons is going about this, but, you know, I'd really like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you guys think there's a slight chance Australia could still maybe upset USA or another team, you know, and, uh, maybe go, go for gold? Of course, I'd very much like to hear your thoughts and opinions. What do you guys think about Ben Simmons turning his back on Australia yet again? I'd very much like to know. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, uh, and my IRO slash vlogging channels. And don't forget to check out my podcast as well. If you haven't already, which I will all, of course, link in the description down below. But as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.